Here I'm going to show you the nerve to the right side of the voice box. The small blood vessels on top of the nerve to the voice box are controlled with a very, very delicate control called bipolar electric cautery. You see the white structure here underneath where I'm dissecting. That is the right recurrent laryngeal nerve. The pulsating structure to the left is the carotid artery. This patient has multiple lymph node metastasis and the right nerve needs to be completely dissected. Here you see small lymph nodes that I will also be removing with this dissection. Again here, this is called bipolar cautery to control very small blood vessels on top of the nerve. Here in higher magnification, you see the entire right recurrent laryngeal nerve. I'm mobilizing the thyroid a little bit away from the nerve, and because the patient has disease all the way to the inlet of the nerve into the voice box, the entire nerve needs to be dissected. The small structure shown here is the right superior parathyroid gland that needs to be separated from the thyroid and maintained on its blood supply if at all possible. Very tiny blood vessels cross over the nerve to the voice box and enter into the thyroid gland and here I'm going to clamp them and then they will be sectioned. Once sectioned, a small suture is going to be placed on these blood vessels so they will not be capable of oozing following the procedure. Here you see the nerve to the voice box and you see thyroid tissue extending right up to the nerve itself. Because this patient had thyroid cancer right where the nerve enters the voice box, every small piece of thyroid tissue in this area must be removed in order to prevent the cancer from coming back in an incredibly risky location at the nerve entry into the voice box. Again, all these small blood vessels at the attachment of the thyroid at the nerve entry into the voice box need to be controlled and then sectioned. This is then completed and then the thyroidectomy is complete as well.